I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider higher order derivatives for polynomial functions, right? So to begin with let me sketch some some graphs for polynomials and then we'll discuss them one by one. So when we say higher order derivatives we'll consider the first derivative and the second derivative, correct? So we'll just consider two derivatives. So when we are talking about polynomial functions uh, we are talking about uh, linear function for example so we'll consider a straight line let us say this is my linear function y equals to x so I'm considering parent functions for ease calculation right and then we have a parabola which could be like this right so that could be uh, second order and then we have a cubic function which could be like this right and we could have a degree 4 polynomial but instead of taking a degree 4 polynomial as a parent function what I will do is I will take that as a, okay so we'll take a combination of a graph where we will just just draw a, a graph with not a parent function you you see that right so I just kind of changed it a bit okay so this is not x to the power of 4 however these are y equals to x y equals to x square x cube and this is some other uh, degree 4 function right so what we have here is uh, let me say y equals to x here we are considering let me say f of x equals to x square let me call this as g of x equals to x cube and let us say we p of x equals to uh, some degree 4 function right so I don't know what so it is some degree 4 function okay so we could write approximate equations depending on these zeros but I'm not getting there right so so something like that okay the whole idea here is to understand how the graph of uh, higher order derivatives is going to look like right so from the equations it is kind of very simple whenever you have an equation you can find the graph of a derivative so in this particular case what you know is if the function is y equals to x then y dash will be equals to derivative of x which is 1 and so that means derivative was 1 so I will draw a line at 1 so that becomes y dash for me right now if I want to sketch graph of a function which is a second derivative then second derivative really means derivative of this function so derivative of this function will be y double dash and derivative of 1 which is a constant will be 0 so that will be a horizontal line like this do you see that so that represents y double dash so likewise we will draw uh, the graph for derivatives and second derivatives now in this particular case let's revert back to uh, the function which is f of x equals to x squared so in that case f dash of x is going to be 2x is it okay so 2x will be a line which could go kind of like this right so let us say this is 2x now the second derivative for this function will be f double dash x will be 2 right so will be a constant 2 so let us say that is this line correct so that is the second derivative for me I'm writing 2 here and that's a constant line now if I consider the cubic function in that case what happens uh, in that case f dash x will be equals to 3x square now 3x square is a parabola right so it'll be kind of like this right and uh, the derivative uh, let me write here f double dash x will be equals to 6x I mean let me write in different colors so that we can sketch it easily in different colors so the whole idea is to see how they change so 6x means is a straight line uh, with a slope of 6 right so so that is how it is it is not a constant anymore so it is a straight line which is a slope of 6 so maybe like this right so that is going through origin but a slope of 6 okay now so that is how we see that the derivative and the second derivative one degree lower is the derivative and then one more degree lower is the second derivative so for a parabola 
straight line is the derivative and a constant function is the second derivative. For cubic function, parabola degree 2 is the derivative and degree 1 straight line is the second derivative, right? So, so that is how we get. So if you follow this pattern, then what happens really is that for every degree you go for a polynomial, for example, now degree 4 will be, I mean, it will be kind of flatter here, right? So I'm just making flatter here. So let us say we have a function which is y equals to x to the power of 4, right? So y equals to x to the power of 4. In that case, what is y dash equals to? So y dash will be equals to 4x and what is y double dash equals to? y double dash will be equals to 4, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, this should be x cube, okay, so 4x cube and y double dash will be 12x square, 12x square, right, okay, so x cube, right, so the derivative for the degree 4 function is going to be a cubic function, 4x cube, so I could sketch it like this, do you see that, I could sketch it kind of like this, okay, now, as far as the second derivative is concerned, it's a parabola, right? So, well, these are approximate drawings which are only giving you an idea of how their functions are going to look like. So, they are not very accurate as you can see. But the idea here is to understand that if you are working with degree 4, then the derivative is degree 3, okay, and the second derivative will be a parabola. You get the point. So, that is how we will get our functions. Now, with this kind of calculation which we have done, let me also move forward and sketch a simple graph which is more complicated than these and we will see how the derivative of that function be look like if we have a function like this. So I'm just changing and now we're exploring into further polynomials, more general kind. So as you can see, this is a degree 3 polynomial, right? So, so what do we expect? What should be the degree for the function given to us? So if we have a function, in this case, we have a function f of x, this is my function f of x, then how do you sketch f dash of x? That is the idea. We know it should be a parabola. First thing, it should be a parabola. Second, how do you get zeros of parabolas? These turning points gives you the zero. So this is the turning point. These are the zeros. You see the slope over here is positive. So the parabola should go through positive portion in this portion. Slope is negative from here to here. So we are expecting a parabola which is kind of like this. Do you see that? So that is going to be the graph of f dash x from the given function. Okay. And how about the graph of second derivative that is derivative of derivative so for the second derivative which i am considering f double dash x we'll get a zero here so if this point will be zero we know this part is negative and this part is positive so a straight line negative in this portion and positive in that portion a straight line will give us second derivative so one degree lower do you get the idea now this is your test question so what you need to do is study this graph, right? This is any degree 4. So you know, in this particular uh, function, how will the graph of second derivative look like? Second derivative will be what? Second derivative will be a parabola, right? Since this is of degree 4, and how will the first derivative look like? First derivative for this function will be cubic, right? So what I would like you to do is sketch the cubic function which will represent first derivative of this function and the parabola which will represent the second derivative. So that is the exercise for you and I hope that helps. Thank you and let's move on to understanding higher order derivatives from here onwards. Thank you and all the best.